In this video, we are going to learn about shell command. Let's understand the basic functioning of the shell command. Shell command is going to apply the wall thickness along with going to offer the opening to the faces of a solid body. In this video, we are going to cover the basic part of the shell along with we will move forward to the moderate level and then end up this video with the export level of shell command. So let's start with me. First of all, I'm going to activate the shell command. Here is the shell command. And here we have two options. The very first one is open and closed. We are going to understand the basics of these both options on this model. So I'm going to have the open option here and I'm going to select this space. Now it will offer the opening like it has offered the opening by selecting the face which has been done by the user. Like I have defined that this face I do not want and along with that I do not want this face also. So it will remove those faces which are going to be get selected by the user. At the same time it is going to offer the thickness to the non-selected faces like this. So here the thickness is 1. And in case if you do not want this face also, so you can select that particular face and it is going to offer you the opening to all the selected faces. Along with that, it is going to offer the thickness to the unselected faces of the same body like this. So this thickness is 1. We can reverse the direction for the thickness from this toggle like this. Whether we want the outside thickness or inside thickness. This is how we can use the option of open in the case of shell. So I am going to reset this command. Reset toggle is here. Now here we are going to understand about the closed one. So I am going to select the closed and here it will ask you for the body which is going to be a solid body. So I am going to select this entire body. Now you can see the thickness is going down. If I just zoom in here, so thickness is going down. Suppose if I need to reverse the direction so I can do the same from this toggle and click on OK. Now, how to understand whether the command has been applied or not. So for that, you can check through the sectional view. For the sectional view, the short key is Ctrl plus H. Now you can see this has been followed from inside. In the case of closed option, it is going to offer you the hollow body with some thickness on all the faces of the solid. So that is how closed and open works. Let me just unclip this like this. So this is the basic functioning of open and closed. Now let's come to the moderate level. For the moderate level, we have a model like this. I'm going to apply the shell here with the option as open. Now click here. Now you can see earlier we were having a solid body. But now that face has been removed due to shell command with the open option. Along with that it will ask you for the thickness. Like what thickness would you like to have on this body. So it is going to have only of 1 mm. I can increase or decrease through here like this. So I need 2 mm and it will apply the 2 mm of thickness on each and every face which is left over after selecting that particular face. So this is how it works in the case of open and I can also apply the alternate thickness if we want some alternate thickness at some particular faces like this. So at each and every face it is going to be 2 mm but some alternate thickness like some specified faces I have applied the 5 mm. So this is the advanced part regarding the open shell. Now let's understand the closed option on the moderate level. Just click on closed and here I'm going to apply the thickness as 1 mm and I'm going to select this body. And the thickness is going inside. Just click on OK. Now just have Ctrl plus H. You can see this has been applied. Let me just show you before applying the shell. So I'm going to make middle feature as the current feature. Now let's have the sectional view. This is the sectional view. Just let me change the background so that you can see clearly. So I'm going to apply the dark gray. Okay. 
Now let's check the sectional view. You can see this is entirely solid. And if I just apply the shell command with the closed option, it will be hollow from inside like this. Now let's go to the next model in which we are going to cover the advanced part of the shell command. So just go to this. I'm going to make this pattern as parent feature. Now in this case, just let me color the faces. This face, this face, this face, and this face along with this. We do not need these highlighted faces along with that we need the thickness of the model as 1mm. So for that, we are going to apply the shell command using the open option. Why open option? Because here we are removing the faces. This is the simplest method to remember that if we are removing the faces, we are going to have the open faces option in the shell. So I'm going to form, just go to shell and here I'm going to choose the option as open and select the faces which we do not want. and click on OK. So this is the advanced part of the shell. Like you can see, we have removed all the faces which we are intended to remove. Along with that, we have offered one mm of thickness to the entire model. So this is all about the shell command. Let's have a quick recap of the same. Just let me adjust the windows for three tap group. First of all, we have started with the basic. In the basic, we have the basic understanding of the shell command like what is open and what is closed. Later on, we have moved forward to the moderate level. In the moderate level, we have understood about how to apply the shell using the open and closed on some advanced model. At the last, we have ended up this session with the export application of the shell command on the complex models like this. So this completes the entire package of shell. I hope you have enjoyed the learnings of the shell command. So that is all. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.